bitch, I done stumbled upon something and I don't know what it is, but I know somebody who's going to see this video is going to know what it is. Let me leave the disclaimer that if it's some negative, girl, I hate to tell you this stuff, don't tell me. But if it's some ooh girl, that's really cool stuff, please tell me. I use the hashtag Dre underscore cuts for my husband on this app. And whenever I type it in, I've noticed that it has thousands of views at a time. And I was like, ain't no way my hashtag is slowly crawling up. But meanwhile, Dre Cuts is booming like that. They ain't studying this thing like that. Ain't no way. Anyway, I go and I click on the hashtag. And of course, there are other Dre Cuts out there. So it's not just him. There's other Dre Cuts. I knew it. But I found one. Unfortunately, this young man has passed away. But he is Dre Cuts with a Z. My husband is Dre Cuts with an S, but that's not where the similarities end. They're both barbers, apparently both the best, and they have identical barber shops. What is this? Let me first say I understand this comment, and this is why I said something to the young lady in the beginning. The whole reason why I told this story. The whole reason why I ended up in this mess. Because once somebody's gone, you can't go backwards. And the whole point of the post was forgiveness isn't for them, it's for you. And this comment proves that point. Now, I don't know the depths of your situation, but there's something you wish that could have transpired between you and your father that can no longer transpire now. And that's really what I said to the young lady. I mean, I, I know and I respect the space that you're in, but once they're gone, you can't get that moment back, so take it. But her business is none of my business, so I'm going to move forward. Respectfully. Me getting this moment with my mom was divine. My condo was in foreclosure, I didn't have a job, I didn't have a man, I didn't have anything tying me to Arizona. The bank who owned my condo gave me 15, either 12 or $15,000, every time I tell the story it's a different amount. But the bank gave me $15,000, you know I'm going to go with the higher amount, right? The bank gave me $15,000 to sell my condo so that they didn't have to go through the whole foreclosure process, so my condo sold and now I have $15,000. I could either go rent an apartment or I could do something else. I didn't want to go and lock myself into another situation, especially being unemployed. Two weeks after the new year, my mom calls me and she tells me she has terminal cancer. Now, I already told you, I don't fuck with my mom like that. But for some reason, when she called me, I was like, okay, I'm on my way. Well, I can't come until May until my daughter's out of school because I don't want to pull her the last four months of school. But as soon as she's out, I'm there. I surprised myself, y'all, because I was like, I don't even like this woman. To so I ended up sleeping on a friend's floor on an air mattress for four months. I paid her $1,200 to allow me to do so. This was in 2013, and that is the first time that I saw God's hand move in my life. I'm not a super religious person, but I'm definitely a spiritual person, and 2013 is the first time I saw God. Now that didn't make me super, oh God is everything. I still struggled with having a relationship with God and understanding who and what he or she is. But my point is all the pieces just kind of connected together so that I could be there for my mom because in honesty, nobody else could quit their job and go be with her. Nobody else could leave their family and go be with her. Nobody else. I was the person that was in the position with no strings attached who could just drop everything, which I didn't have anything to drop, and go be with her. So it was supposed to be me. It was supposed to be me without a question. And I'm happy that I took that opportunity to have that forgiveness space for us. There's a whole lot to this story. It's actually pretty freaking amazing, but I'll save it for another video because I'm already three minutes in. Go, go, bad waitress. You gotta go, go, bad waitress. That's good logic, Michael. Huh? It's good logic. What? That's on the sound card. You understood what he said? Yeah. What'd he say? He said Tell me what your brother just said. See, you made a mess. Go get a towel. Do you just try to spray my water like that? You just spilled your water like that. No. Yes, who else did it? Someone. You literally were just standing there on top of your bottle like it was a thing to stand on. And while you were doing that, the top was unscrewing. How the top was unscrewing? You unscrewed it. How? By standing on it and rolling it back and forth. That unscrewed it slowly. How did I get it out? Time to clean up. Yeah. Da -ding, da -ding, da -ding. Da -ding, da -ding, da -ding. I wish 
keep this here for 10 minutes. I don't think it's going to take 10 minutes, though, Michael. Oh, I have thousand. You have a thousand what? Oh, it's definitely not going to take that long. I can't touch the water. I think the water's up. You should pick the towel up. I think it's not. I think it is. You should pick the towel up. Well, it's still down. I feel it. Down. Yeah, because the towel is wet, but the floor is not. You should pick the towel up. I keep the <laughs> Pick the towel up. Michael. Just kidding. You just gonna ignore me now? Yes, I wanna know you. That's why it's a thing you mean to me. They be playing victim so quick.